how to send google form submission on microsoft team chat automatically so if you are using microsoft teams as a communication channel with your team and whenever you receive a new form response via google forms you want to automatically share those form responses with your team then this video is for you so if you also want to start sharing your form responses with your team come with me and i will show you how you can entirely automate this process step by step now to automate this process i'm going to build a connection in google forms and microsoft team chat in front of you with the pabbly connect well it is an integration and automation software and here you can see i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just a two minutes from this find a free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard simply click on this blue button that is create workflow and firstly provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name as share google form responses with your team on microsoft teams okay now click on create and after that you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and action window okay so according to our use case whenever any new form response is received in which particular form builder software basically in google forms okay in case you want to share the form responses of any other software you can select that form builder software here okay now firstly select the trigger event okay before that let me first select the action application as microsoft teams okay let me search for the team all right so i have selected the google forms and microsoft teams. teams in this trigger and action window now the idea here is i will build a connection in google forms and microsoft teams by connecting these two application with the pabbly connect first okay so firstly select a trigger event that is new form response is received okay so i have selected the same and here you can notice a webhook url is provided okay so basically with the help of this url only we are going to build a connection okay so i have copied this url then i will go back to my google form okay and here you can notice i have created this appointment booking form book your appointment now okay and as soon as the form submission is received firstly pabbly connect will receive that detail okay so how i am going to build the connection click on this response section and then open that spreadsheet which is associated with this form okay and basically with the help of this spreadsheet only we are going to build a connection let me maximize it so that you can see the data very clearly i hope the data data is visible to you now okay firstly i am going to delete the existing entry so that i can show you everything from the scratch okay click on this extension section then click on add on then click on add add ons and here you will have to search for the pabbly connect webhooks add on all right so i have searched for the same that is pabbly connect webhooks add on okay so firstly you will have to install this add on in order to build the connection well this add on is already installed into my account so i don't need to install it i'm going to close it and then i can access this add on from here okay so click on this extension and you will find your add on here click on this initial setup and here exactly you will have to paste the same webhook url which we have received via pabbly connect okay but But before I provide any detail here, firstly I will submit this form and capture at least one data here. Okay, so this is my form. Let me preview this form and let me book this appointment with some dummy details. Yes, I am going to use only random, only dummy details only. All right, so here you can notice I have provided the name as demo user, the email address as demo at the rate pablutoods dot com. Again, I have provided a dummy phone number that is nine six 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 six, and the date and time of the appointment is ah uh, fifth of sorry fifteenth of May twenty twenty three and ten a.m. in the morning. And the medical problem I have mentioned is liver problem. Firstly, I will submit this form so that I can collect their data into the spreadsheet. Let me first delete this existing blank row. All right, I have deleted the. 
same i can now close this landing page and firstly i will copy this webo url and then i am going to build a connection in this spreadsheet okay so click on this extension again open this pably connect webo set on click on initial setup and here i will paste the same webo url all right and asking for the trigger column well it is the final data column okay on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webo url okay so basically it is asking to specify that on the submission of which particular column on the filling of which particular column the data should be sent to pably connect or you can say this automation should trigger okay so i want that whenever the data is filled up to f column the data should be sent okay so let me specify the same and then when i will click on the send test button you will notice that this data this row data will be sent to pably connect okay here you can notice the test data sent successfully here you can notice the date the name the email address the phone number and the date and time of the appointment okay now when i will come back to pably connect you will notice that the same form response is received okay let me show you the details one by one so here we have the trigger column here we have the spreadsheet name that is clinic appointment let me show you clinic appointment and let me also show you the form responses data okay so here we have the same phone number the name the medical problem email address and the date and time of appointment okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in between our google form and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to book an appointment the details will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay let me close this and in order to send this data in real time you will have to enable one more very important setting that is send on event yes when you will enable this option this will ensure that the data will be sent automatically to Pably Connect, okay. And let me tell you a very important thing. Whenever you are working with Google Forms or Google Sheets with the Pably Connect, make sure either you work in the incognito window or multiple Gmail accounts should not be logged in at the same time. Otherwise, you will get an authentication error. Okay. Now coming back to Pably Connect, and the first step of our automation is done. Now I am going to send these form responses to my team on this Microsoft Teams application. Okay. So the application is. selected already firstly i will select the action even that is send a message in a channel okay basically i have created a channel with the name pably connect and in this channel only in this pably team only i would like to share all the form responses okay so coming back here and just like we have built a connection in google forms and pably connect now we will be connecting microsoft teams and pably connect for that click on this connect with microsoft teams button and then you'll have to provide the access of your or microsoft team account well i have built this connection multiple times i have provided the access multiple times okay so you can notice i have provided the connection two times okay so i can also go with the existing connection if you want you can also go with the existing connection but in the first time you will always have to go with the new connection and provide the access and here you can notice my microsoft team account is successfully connected with the pably connect now here you can see whatever the teams i have created inside my microsoft team account have started visible here okay so digital initiative public relation mark mark a project team us sales retail pably connect all these teams are visible here and i would like to send my form responses in this pably connect team so i have selected the same and under this pably connect i would like to share the responses in this pably team okay so in this channel also i will select the same that is pably team and from here exactly i can compose my message okay so what i will do i will add all the form responses here in this message box okay so how i am going to do that i am going to map the above data okay and mapping is very simple i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it paste it here okay i am going to map it simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down now i will select the data and this is how the data will be mapped but i would like to send a 
nice a decent message okay well i have already created a message so how about i directly copy the same paste the same here and firstly i am going to correct the formatting okay so hello team members a new form response is received by the form and here i would like to add the form name appointment details are as follows and here i will add the name of the person the email of the person the phone number of the person and lastly the appointment date and time and lastly i will add thanks okay and this way i am going to share this message okay and whatever the details i am providing here manually these details will remain same and whatever the details i am going to map from the above data will replace automatically okay so here i will map the name of the form so the name of this appointment is actually clinic appointments only okay so let me first copy the same and paste it here okay this detail will again remain same with every new form submission data appointment details are as follows or how about in place of a new form response i will write something like a new appointment is received okay a new appointment is received i think this is looking even better a new appointment is received by the form clinic appointment appointment details are as follows place your cur cursor here and here from here i can map the name of the person okay let me scroll down a little bit okay so i have successfully mapped the name asking for the email address let me search for the same i have successfully mapped the email address as well lastly it is asking for the phone number and the date and time of the appointment okay so let me search for the date and time and lastly i have also received one more data that is what medical problem my customer have okay so i can share this detail as well simply add medical problem colon and here i will add that value okay so the customer has mentioned that he has this specific problem okay so i think i have composed my whole message which i would like to share with my team and you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i have mapped here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or you can say when a new form response is received and whatever the details i have provided manually these details will remain same now i have clicked on this button save and send test request and you will notice that i will received the same form responses into my microsoft team chat and here you can see the message is already arrived hello team members a new appointment is received by the form clinic appointment appointment details are as follows and here we have the name email phone number appointment date and time and the medical problem as well thanks okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in between microsoft team and pabli connect is working absolutely fine or you can say our automation is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to book an appointment with you the details will be sent automatically in your microsoft chat okay and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end okay you do not have to do anything manually after you have successfully set up this automation and just in case if you want to access this workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach this link into my description box okay so you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video